Good morning, friends. Welcome to Sunday Seeds. I am Miss Rachel, and today we're talking about the Ten Commandments. Commandments, that's kind of a big word. Command sounds very forceful. Well, God's pretty powerful, and these commandments were given to Moses on a mountaintop. So, we're going to tell this story in just a moment. Um, today, you just need a piece of paper because as, oh, commandments, what does that mean, commandments? It means something that you are asked to do, although a little bit more sternly, God says you should do these things, um, or he might not be happy. However, really in the long run, these commandments are given to us to help us be happy in life, to guide us into a life that will help us love one another, love God, and make disciples. All right, I got a sunspot here on my face. Pardon me as I maneuver around. So a piece of paper, scissors, and something to write with if you would like. All right, so while you get your uh, supplies, we'll do a little song. Because while the Ten Commandments is very serious stuff, we gotta think about something else too. Because Jesus sums this all up in Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. All right, I am going to read to you from our World Story Bible. Let's see if I can get just a little bit closer here. There we go. And we are reading, we're at the beginning of the Bible today. So uh, Bible students, what does that mean? Are we in the Old Testament or the New Testament if we're in the beginning of the Bible? Old Testament, right. So this story comes to us from a long time ago. And it's called God's Rules from the book of Exodus. Genesis, Exodus. It's the second book in the Bible. Okay. Yes, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Those first five books are Pentateuch, or the laws from God. Oh, the laws. So the commandments kind of fall under the book of laws. And in Exodus, Moses and the Israelites have left um, Egypt. And so they have been wandering. And now they are at Mount Sinai. Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17. Mount Sinai was covered in thick black cloud. The clouds flashed with lightning and boomed with thunder. God wanted Moses to climb the mountain. So Moses started climbing. Step by step, Moses climbed higher and higher. And when he reached the very top, he stopped. Moses thundered God. Moses looked up and a flash of lightning lit the sky. Tell my people that I am the Lord your God. I rescued you from slavery in Egypt. I always come first. Do not make idols and do not worship anyone but me. And there's our big lightning flashes. All right. Only use my name when you are talking about me. Choose one day each week to rest and worship me and call this the Sabbath. So Otto's at the bottom here and Otto says, God really knows how to get your attention. <laughs> yes, indeed. God's voice thundered more. The ground shook under Moses' feet and Moses stood tall and still, listening closely to God's words. God wanted to help people understand how to live as free, loving people, loving God and caring for each other. Obey your father and mother, boomed God. Don't hurt or kill anyone. Married people need to be faithful to one another. Always te tell the truth. Don't take things that are not yours. Be happy with what you have. 
do not wish your neighbor's things belong to you. God gave Moses these rules on two pieces of paper. Wait, that's not right. He gave these things on two fish. That's not right either. <laughs> what do you think God put these Ten Commandments on? Something that would fly away quickly. No. Something that would last, something that was strong. God used stone. Yes, stone. He gave Moses these rules on two pieces of stone. Moses brought these stone tablets to the people. Now, our friends Otto and Ada at the bottom. And Otto says, uh-oh, do mom and dad know about these rules? And Ada says, of course they do. You too can ask mom and dad, or grandma and grandpa, or even friends, if they know about these rules. Can you say it with me? The Ten Commandments. All right, or repeat after me. Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments. Very good. Now we just listed all ten of those commandments. Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? But most importantly though, my friends, we put God above all else. When you are scared and afraid, what should you do? Look to God. If you feel sad or you don't know what's going to happen, pray and look to God. Yes, friends, life is gonna have its ups and downs, but always know that you can turn to God in prayer and that you can come to people who love you like Jesus, Miss Rachel, your parents, friends that are close, and we will be there for you and God will provide people to help you through, all right? Now, the commandments tell us all these rules and it sounds like it might be a lot. And what happens if I don't always follow these rules? What if, what if I might not totally tell the truth about something one day and I, I didn't really mean to but I didn't want to hurt their feelings and so I didn't say what was really oh is Jesus mad at me does God still love me yes very good all right my friends I've got a blue piece of paper because we're still in Lent and in Lent we are focusing our relationship focusing on our relationship with God because this is a time where we acknowledge that Jesus gave up his life for us to sacrifice himself to get rid of all our sins. Now that would be something where the Ten Commandments will help you understand if you sinned. If you are not familiar with them, please look in your Bible. You'll be able to find them in the book of Exodus chapter 20, all right? We're gonna take a piece of paper and in Lent, it is the color purple, but I've got a blue piece. We're close. God still loves me. We're folding it in half. And I know we've done quite a few of these. Um, well, we'll make it look like an ear. I'll do, I won't, I won't freehand it. I'll, I'll do this. There you go. So it looks like an ear. Yes, my friends, we are cutting out a heart. And I cut along the line. Because all of these commandments, Jesus summed up very simply when he comes in the New Testament. And Jesus said, love God love people and if you are one of my regular Sunday seeds in our saplings children's program you know what our church mission is what is our mission that's right, love God, love people, make disciples. These 10 commandments will help you do just that, my friends. They are not here to punish you or to make you feel weighed down with rules. They are here to help you live a happy and free life, a life of goodness and a life of love. All right, my friends, I am gonna say a prayer. Feel free to decorate your hearts however you'd like, okay? And let us pray. Hey God, it's us. Thank you for the Ten Commandments. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for helping me love others. Please continue to guide me 
every day in every way in your love with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. One God now and forever. Amen. Beautiful job, my friends. Mwah. Jesus loves you and so do I. We are doing courtyard kickball between services if anybody would like to come out and play. All right, I will be at the church this morning. And today we have an awesome Shankle shindig for Pastor Shankle after services. All right, I hope to see you around campus. Remember friends, wear your mask, wash your hands, stay safe, love God. Love people, make disciples. Bye-bye. <laughs>